You know, when you stand back and take a look at it from a distance, it really is a work of art. Last time, I had so much fun building my hilltop farm that I decided I wanted to take this a step further. Since I've determined that my potato delivery system isn't really working the way it should, I've decided the best option would just be to make the whole farm slope all the way down to ground level again, so from the very top, all the way down. The only question really is how steep exactly can you have a farm? My ramp to get up to the top is obviously quite manageable for almost any equipment. Some of it gets pretty slow, but I'm thinking if we slope from say right about here all the way down to the road over there, eh, that might be manageable, at least in the downhill direction. I don't know what's going to happen for things coming up, but that's not my concern. I'm predicting this is going to be another one of my ambitious projects that takes me way too many hours. I'm going to use my house as the starting point. Everything from this point forward is going to slope. I don't know how I'm going to do this consistently and it's going to be very challenging to do, but somehow I'm going to make it work. So far so good. Things are working a lot quicker than I normally expect them to. This is a little bit of a delicate process because any screw ups and I have to go back a few layers to make it work and I've still got to get all the way down to the ground somehow. And then it's probably not going to be steep enough so I'm going to have to redo this 8 times to make it work. Since we're starting to get something of a proper slope established, let's jump in one of our tractors and see how it handles it. We'll try with this little guy because I really like it for plowing, it's a nice quick little tractor. So pretend this was just a little bit smoother. I think that's not a bad slope so far and then we just kind of drop off the edge and plow all the way down nicely to the bottom. So far I'm optimistic about things. It's not till you look at it from the bottom though that you really understand how big this thing is. Like I said, I may have to make it a little bit steeper, but that's okay because it's going to be a downhill only farm. I don't care about stuff getting up. As long as we can plow downwards, plant downwards, harvest downwards, I think that'll work out just fine. Hey, look at that. We're almost back to our tractor. Unfortunately, I was out by that much on my slope. Pretty close considering I was just completely winging it. Obviously there was a little bit of trial and error at first, there was a few inconsistencies along the way, but overall not too bad considering. But you know what, you really don't know how good a slope is until you drive down it with something. I've got a truck capable of going at least 90 kilometers an hour, so let's point that downhill and see what happens. Looks like I almost killed my ramp at one point, I knew it was getting narrow so I'm gonna have to fix that at some point, it's gonna be a little bit hard to get some equipment through there. Approaching the edge for the very first time. Just gotta make it over the bumps, I will smooth this out eventually, I just want to make sure the rest of it is okay before I get too carried away fine tuning. Seriously? Of all the places it gets stuck, we're pointed downhill and that's when it happens. Now I guess I'm gonna need to bump that out with a truck or a tractor of some kind. Not the most consistent of slopes, but in the middle I kinda got better with it. The likely result on this rescue mission is gonna be two of my pieces of equipment at the bottom of the slope. But uh, that's alright, some things have to go back down at some point anyway. Alright, let's just hold her there. Now as long as the truck hangs out for a second, this will be alright. Yeah, I think we'll be good to go. Alright, let's do this. Full speed ahead. No? Okay. Round two, let's give it another little push. I've really got to smooth out the top of this. Luckily my tractor has tracks. Um, if I let it go, is the truck going to roll away though? Nope, we're good. Okay, round three. Yeah, we're just going to go straight down to the bottom and kind of see what happens. I also want to see how fast we can go down this. Cool. It's not particularly faster than it was going down the road for some reason. Oh, there we go. We're up to about 130. And the finish. Well, at least we landed sunny side up. One other question we need to answer before we start smoothing this out is can the tractor drive up it? I think it should be able to depending on the tractor, but probably not super quickly. Yep, it'll drive up it. I don't know if it'll do it towing a plow or anything. Probably not. But let's just back up a little bit and see if we can do this. You know what? I probably should have made this facing south. That way we get all the sunlight. When one of my ideas actually works. There's definitely spots on the slope where if it gets just any steeper, it comes down to an absolute crawl. So any steeper in this wouldn't have worked. I got really lucky with the way I did this. And it's also kind of a shame because if I had started my consistent slope up here where my house is, the proper way, I actually would have tied that in nicely at the bottom. Now that we have this whole hill nicely smoothed out, time to see if we can actually farm on it. The first problem is I don't really remember where I left my plow. I think I flung it over the edge somewhere on this side, so we're just going to jump over and find it. You know what? Now that I'm here, I'm not seeing it. It turns out the plow somehow made it back to the shop without me, so we're gonna drag it all the way back up there. Hopefully my ramp is still in working order and this shouldn't actually be too bad for once. Alright, my ramp officially sucks again. 
but I'll still make it up with a little bit of effort. As long as I keep folding it to the appropriate side, we'll be alright. I definitely like my ramp better when it worked though. I just realized what a nightmare it's going to be if I have to drive up the ramp again and again and again. The trick is getting back to my slope without damaging my current crop too much. I need to delicately navigate around it. Okay, so we got to start somewhere up here and start plowing downwards. So let's see how this is going to go. It's going to be a little bit wonky at the top when it makes its way over and then I kind of got to move over a little bit to get to the actual edge of this. But so far so good. It's going to be the fastest plow job ever on the way down at least. Now we just kind of got to straighten it out. I think things are working pretty nicely. See, there we go. Perfect. I'm not really happy with the job this plow is doing right now. Wait, we're back in business again. It just kind of plows intermittently, which is very handy. I can't wait to farm that one little patch on the side of this whole mountain. Maybe the plow just needs to be to the other side? I mean, I worked all the way down here and I've only plowed two small patches. That's not good enough for all this effort. We need results. I mean, it kind of worked for a second, but it just doesn't want to plow. We need to be like dead stop for it to actually do anything. You know what? If I go like really, really, really slow, I think I can actually do this. But that would take like 80 hours to do just this slope. Maybe it just wants me plowing uphill or something. The angles just, just aren't really working apparently. Oh, there we go. If we do it at a sideways thing, it kind of works. Yeah, perfect. There we go. This is how you farm. I really love that feature on this new plow where it kind of plows sometimes, but not really. And sometimes other times, but then sometimes not also. So it's kind of like guessing. Well, since this plow clearly isn't going to work, let's try the little one, which is somewhere at the top. We may have a problem getting there. All right, well, since that plow doesn't work anyway, we're just going to let it go down the hill. And that's right, I intelligently left my other plow at the bottom too, so I get to drive it up the ramp also. Well, let's see if the little one has what it takes to make it work. In a way, I kind of hope it doesn't, because look how small it is. Imagine how long that would take. And wouldn't you know it, it looks like it's working just perfectly. Well, at least at this point, I go grab a coffee and it basically plows itself until I have to drive back up the ramp for 10 minutes and then do it again and again and again. Actually made it to the bottom without any issue. But can we make it back up is going to be the million dollar question. And so far, we're not making very good progress. In my experience, when you can't make it up something, you just got to hit it with a little bit of speed. Perfect. That fixes everything. I'm kind of thinking one of those crops that doesn't need to be plowed first. I might have actually managed to get myself back up the hill this way. Not sure if it's going to make it all the way, but this would be quicker than going all the way down around to my ramp. Good news, it does plow uphill, just very, very, very slowly. So when I go to hire a helper, it just detaches the plow and sends it down the hill. So that's really helpful. Thank you Farming Simulator for knowing exactly what I wanted to do there. And because it's upside down, I can't attach to it. Well, maybe now I can because it might be right side up again. 10 years later, we're back at the top. I'm going to try my tractor with tracks over here because it's my favorite. Well, using this one, we can hit a crisp 15 kilometers an hour downhill. We get a solid 12 kilometers an hour on the side hill. So going uphill is probably going to slow down just a little bit. Six, seven, eight kilometers uphill, depending on exactly how steep it is. I could live with this. I wonder if the rain possibly has any effect on driving up and down the world's steepest farm. You know, when you stand back and take a look at it from a distance, it really is a work of art. Still got some work to do though, we're not done yet. You know what? As much fun as I'm having plowing, I think it's time we see if we can actually get some crops laid down on this. Now, unfortunately, my potato planting machines happen to be at the bottom of the murder hole still, so I'm going to have to get them out. Luckily for me, you can actually just click on whatever equipment you want and reset it back to the shop. The problem is, that only works with tractors and vehicles. My equipment is still at the bottom of the murder hole. So I guess I get to go through the fun process of buying new ones and filling them up with seeds and dragging them all the way back up to the top. Two tractors with two potato installing machines. In just a moment, I'm going to put some helpers in these and turn them loose on this ridiculous slope and see exactly how they handle it. If it's anything like the murder hole, they're not going to do very well. And I made this probably about as difficult as possible for them, so this is going to be a lot of fun. So if we set him about here... No, they have not completed their task. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It seems we've run into another pretty big problem. I can't seem to hire a helper to do this ground, and I don't know why. It's just a simple farm. Really hoping that this is just somehow the case. It worked fine before. As soon as I put them on the plowed field, they were happy to go to work. Apparently they don't like this one as much for some reason. Nope. 
can't get any helpers to do this for us. So that's pretty annoying. There's no way I'm going to plant this all myself. Wait a sec. I've got a worker. I was just driving around trying to be an idiot and farm at high speeds and I managed to get a worker inside somehow. Not sure why they started there of all places or what they're doing exactly, but... My field is in capable hands. Better than I'd be doing. Let's go see if we get another one in this other one. Might have to give that other one a little bit of a push to get them where they're going. They seem to want to go back up the hill, and I don't know why, and I don't know if I can get them there. Well, I think we've got a problem. They both seem to be trying to go up the hill, and they just can't because they're stupid. Work faster, you idiots. I want potatoes. They're supposed to drive up the hill, not reverse up the hill. Let's try this again. I've got them the biggest, baddest tractor around. I got them all lined up nice and straight and they don't really know what they're doing. They're just kind of backing up into nowhere land. This one's driving in circles and that one is just abandoned ship. I guess I've confirmed that the AI in this game does not like working on hills. I'm going to give them one last chance and opportunity to do this, but I don't think they're going to be able to. They just really, really don't like working on these slopes. Well, since my farm is obviously in good hands, that's going to give me a little extra time to pursue other interests. Like making a giant jump at the bottom of my slope so that I can jump some kind of vehicle somewhere over there. Let's give that a try. Hopefully by the time we're done making this work, we'll have some kind of potatoes to show for it. Obviously, a bright green truck is the only vehicle for this job. First, let's get ourselves lined up. We need to be able to see it before we're going to be able to jump off of it and it's way over to that side. I keep forgetting the scale of things is so far off. When I landscape, I make things huge. Right, well, we'll just kind of point it straight at it and go for broke. Straight down, hopefully I don't get too squirrely along the way. So far, so good. 130, whoop, no, there we go, that worked. Front flip. I think we can get farther than that. I think this time I'm going to get a little bit closer before I start accelerating, because if I go too fast too early, I tend to hit these small ridges and then I just go out of control anyway and lose all my speed before I get to the jump. So we're going to start it maybe right here and hope for the best. It was this little bump that got me last time. We're good. There we go. Full 120 kilometers an hour at the jump. There we go. That's not bad. That's like a field and a half. Are those potatoes done yet? 